Okay. All right. Yes. Yeah, so let's see. Um, you have a fatal disease, and you need to hire a doctor. I, in some countries, we don't hire doctors. Actually, in all countries, we do, but it, it is less direct in some than in others. But put yourself in the situation where you have a fatal disease and you need to hire a doctor. Are you going to go for the cheapest doctor you can find? Uh, you're getting sued by a huge corporation. They want to take away your house and your car and everything else and you need to hire a lawyer. Are you going to go for the cheapest one you can find? This is clearly not the case. Corporations make decisions about how to hire software developers. Often they make those decisions badly because they uh, there is this thought that all software developers are the same. Um, you can uh, write ten times as much code if you hire ten times as many programmers. On the other hand, there have been a number of software authors over the years, Fred Brooks most notably, who said, look, um, there are developers who are ten or twenty times more productive than others. The dynamic range in productivity is huge and it's usually based on experience. And so you should assemble your teams with a few very experienced people and then a few moderately experienced people and then a few lesser experienced people and allow the experienced people to teach and mentor and train and guide and so that you are constantly creating more and more very experienced people to spread to more and more teams. That's proven to be a very effective technique. Um, go back and read the, the book by uh, Fred Brooks where he talks about chief programmer teams yeah. and see how he addresses that. Yeah, I think it's a chapter in the mythical man mind. It is, yes. yes. It's in the mythical man mind.